I'm so glad to see you today. Today I am going to read Me and My Flying Machine. This is one of our favorite books, and especially right now while we're still staying home and staying safe, this is fun about making something out of things you find and using your imagination of what that you could build with them. And so, we are going to read Me and My Flying Machine. I hope you enjoy it. can see the pictures real well. Last summer, I discovered an old barn. It was full of great things. There were boxes, pieces of wood. There were even nails and a hammer. I could build anything I wanted. I'll build a flying machine, I thought, and I started building. I worked all day. My flying machine was almost finished, but it was dinner time and I had to wash the dog. So I closed up the barn for the night. Goodbye, flying machine. I'll finish you tomorrow, I said and went home. That night, I dreamed about my flying machine and how it would look when I was finished. It would be something tremendous, smaller than a castle, but bigger than a truck. Look at all that. That's what he imagined it would be. See the part that looks like a castle? Just dream about it. I finally decided on something smaller. Besides, it would take me too long to build a big flying machine. There were so many things I could do. I'd deliver mail to Eskimos and people who never got mail. I'd fly above the flog and rescue lost, lost boats at sea. Do you see them up there above the clouds in the fog? I'd carry mountain climbers to the mountain top so they wouldn't have to spend so much time climbing. Birds could rest on the wings if they were tired from flying around all day. All those birds that he's given a ride, giving them a rest. From high in my flying machine, I could see everything. So I'd always know where everything was, and I'd never get lost. I'd help cowboys catch their cows. After all, a flying machine is much faster than a horse. My flying machine would win first prize in every race. See all the different flying machines when he's out front? I do dangerous tricks in the air, like hanging by my teeth from a long rope, blindfolded. Is that a good idea? No, but it's fun when we're dreaming or in our imagination. And if I fell, I wouldn't worry. I'd just open my parachute and drift safely down. My flying machine would meet me when I landed. And so there's his flying machine waiting for him. And soon I'd have so many medals and trophies that I wouldn't know where to keep them. I couldn't wait to finish my flying machine. The next day I ran all the way to the old barn. Everything was just like I left it. There was more work to do, so I nailed on another wing and some stuff. I finished working on my flying machine, but somehow it didn't look quite the way I thought it would. 
there was a brush and some old paint cans lying around. So I used a little of each. It was just what my flying machine needed. All the different colors he painted it. It looked better than I had imagined. So I tied a rope on the front end to pull my flying machine outside to dry. It cracked and it moaned and started to shake as I pulled. And then before I could pull it out of the barn, my flying machine fell apart. You think maybe he was sad that it fell apart? Maybe. Tomorrow, I'll build a rowboat. So he didn't have to be sad, did he? No, it was kind of sad, but the fun of it was to build what he wanted to build and to keep building. And so when it fell apart, then he came up with a new idea and decided to build a rowboat. So I hope you enjoy me and my flying machine.